Hello, my name is Annette Michelle Wims, and this is my Aunt Curlin that I'm interviewing today. Well, I'm just going to start sharing a little bit about my life. My grandma was a widow. Mama, she quit school to go to work to help grandma. And so my father, he graduated, your grandpa, mm -hmm. he graduated from Topeka High when, uh, when uh, he died, she was determined that her two children were going to at least get the minimum of a high school diploma. That was the one thing. And I remember when I was 16, I wanted to get a job to help her because at that time, um, mama was a domestic. Mm -hmm. And so um, I wanted to get a job that summer. And she said, no, enjoy the summer and go back to school. She says, because right now, all the only job you could get would be cleaning some white woman's bathroom at their house. And she says, I don't want you doing that. My father was a police officer, and he served in the time when he could only arrest blacks. When my father passed, we lived next door to my grandmother. So then she moved back home so grandma could help take care of me and my younger brother, mama was carrying him when my father died. Grandma was very strict, and I'm thankful for all that strictness. My mother, Ciola Williams, was just a sweet, soft, kind person. She never whipped me. When I was grown, she says, Carolyn, did you ever get a whipping? And I said, I got about two from grandma. And I decided I didn't want any more, so that was, that was it. And I grew up in that era. What Mama and Grandma said, that's the way it was going to be. I'm just thankful that I had a loving, happy, growing up time in the time of segregation. Um, we're talking about segregation, mm -hmm. and I want to just share. There was a swimming pool at Topeka High, and it was hidden. Uh, my cousin who's five years older than me, they didn't know that their swimming pool was there while they were going to school because they did not let the blacks swim in it. But when I went to high school, they had opened it up because a physical ed. Mm -hmm. He had to learn how to swim, which I still haven't. I've tried three <laughs> times. I've given up. I'm just going to go down with the ship. <laughs> but, but that's a bitter thing for a lot of people to remember. And I can remember... Uh, <laughs> um, in 1959, I had really focused myself on going to college. I was taking pre-college classes. The counselor at Topeka High, she told me that I was pretty, I was smart, I should be a waitress because I could make good tips. Mm. That will stick with me till the day I die. And even today, I wish she were alive so she'd be, I'm hoping she's spinning in her grave because I was the first African-American elected to the Kansas State Board of Education mm -hmm. in 2008. Now that is sad that it's taken that long for a, a black person to do that. Mm -hmm.